Not really, but... So let's say you had two basketballs of cholesterol. This is an mm-hmm. oversimplified version okay. for the audience, but uh, you have two basketballs of cholesterol, and, they, and they're covered in fat, okay, a triglyceride. And let's say I add more triglyceride to the bloodstream, right, which, which happens when you eat high sugar, high glycemic carbohydrate. Why? Because part of insulin's role is, is to block forms of energy metabolism that would allow you to uh, burn fat. Um, or at least slow those pathways down. So essentially you have two, two basketballs of cholesterol, and now I want to add more fat to the table. Those two basketballs become four softballs. If I add more triglyceride to the table, they become eight baseballs. If I add more triglyceride, they become 16 golf balls. And if I continue to raise triglyceride, they'll become 32 little BBs. So the point is the amount of cholesterol stayed stable. The amount of triglyceride went up. As the amount of triglyceride went up, the size of the cholesterol molecule got smaller. So the two basketballs and the 32 BBs are the same volume of cholesterol, same nanogram per deciliter of cholesterol, just vastly different sizes. Those 32 BBs, very dangerous. Those two basketballs, very little danger. One is Mm. actually a marker for longevity. One is a marker for cardiovascular disease, and it is the same amount of cholesterol, just oh, different sizes. 